going on guys? We're going to be exploring some new spots in the Everglades today. Uh, first up, I like exploring new spots, but it's extremely annoying when I go to a new location and I find bodies of water, I just can't access them, and that seems to be very common here. I finally found this little canal with some access here on either side, so we're going to be going uh, with the little Kitex Swing Impact uh, swim bait on a little 132nd ounce jig head. Hopefully we can find some fish here. If not, we'll move on to a different spot. And I'm going to be fishing that on my medium light Avid X. Uh, this is the rod I like to use when I still want to fish smaller light presentations, but I, I'm in a new spot where I don't know what kind of fish are there. Maybe that could be in some snaggy areas. So I like to beef it up just a little bit. And then that is paired up with a 2500. This is all knotted up. I'll fix that later. 2500 uh, Diewell Gallus with some six pound mono. So we'll fish that here. Hopefully we can find some fish here. If not, we'll kind of hop spots, try to find some new spots here in the Everglades. So let's give it a shot. All right, so here's the lure we are gonna be going with. Just a little bit better look at it. First time fishing this. I've fished some, some small swim baits like this before, but never this brand. So we'll cast it out. Oh, I had a bite already. I'm just gonna swim it back. But if that is any indication of how this spot is going to go, it should be pretty good. Had a bite literally within maybe two seconds of it being in the water. fish on. I just dropped this straight down and it got engulfed by a spotted sunfish. First fish of the day. Yeah, so I got a couple smaller bites out deeper that I couldn't hook up with. So I dropped this basically straight down by the wall and look how he engulfed this jig head. I'm going to have a hard time getting that hook out. But I mean, the little two inch swim bait got absolutely annihilated by this not so big spotted sunfish. Got him. Oh, that's a bigger fish. What is this? Oh, he's pulling drag. That's a bigger fish. This water's pretty dark. I can't see. Oh, is that an Oscar? Oh, I can't tell yet. Oh, yep, that's a nice Oscar. Let me try to flip him on up here. Fish two is this really, really big Oscar chick uh, cichlid. Yeah, so this guy got pretty uh, grassy, but this oh, this is a beast of an Oscar. This might be my PB Oscar. This is a fat and heavy one. So we do got some nice fish down there. Let's get this guy back and let's get back to fishing. There we go, Ooh, little guy. Huh. Can't believe this guy got hooked. We got ourselves a little bluegill. I mean, look how, this guy's got a lot of kick to him, but look how small he is compared to that little Kitex swim bait. This guy is tiny. Fish on. It's another bluegill. Looks like it. This one's a little bit bigger though. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, so second bluegill of the day. This one is of a nicer size. I walked over to the other side of the canal just to fish some new spots. Now the first cast, we got a bluegill. Got him. Oh, that's another big one. I think that's a Mayan though. Again, right on the drop by this. Oh no, that's an Oscar. That's another big Oscar. Oh, right by this pipe right here. Oh, he's pulling well. He's trying to pull under the pipe. Let me 
flip him on up here. Another big Oscar. This guy's fat too. Yeah, so there are some really, really big and fat Oscars here. But we'll let this one go. And I think I'm going to drive over, explore a little bit more, and try to find a new spot. Maybe we can get some new species. All right, so this guy's going back. All right, so I lost track of how many spots I fished at. Somewhere around six, seven, eight maybe. Uh, really nothing going on in those. So here is, I don't know, spot nine or eight or something like that. It's been a tough day. Oh, got, got something. Oh, what is this? Uh, a, a, pike, a pike killifish? Really? All right, so I can't believe that I got a pike killifish. I thought this was like a little juvenile snook for a second. I, I've tried a couple times to catch a pike killifish. Uh, if you remember my videos from a few months ago, but I cannot believe I got one. And not only that, but I got one on a lure and it's a two inch swim bait. Like usually I think most people that catch these guys catch them on like mosquito fish or something really, really small. And this is a really, really big size pike killifish. These guys usually do not get this big. I mean, I'm just at a loss for words. I really, really cannot believe that I got a pike killifish on a lure like that. So this is a new fish for the life list. This is, I mean, it's an, it was a terrible day, but now it just became an awesome day. This is a great little catch. All right, besides that pike killifish and a bunch of really, really small fish that I can't hook up with. Not much going on in this spot. So, very, very slow day. That's, that kind of happens a lot when you're trying new spots because you don't know what spot's going to produce and what spot isn't. So, I think we're going to pack up here and we'll try spot 9 or 10 or whatever number we're up to today. All right, so this is, I don't know, two spots later, three spots later. Not a ton of action over here. Oh, and my lure got all messed up here, so let's fix that. Unfortunately, when you're exploring new spots, this is kind of the way it goes sometimes. You find some water, but you don't find the fish. We got two gators here, so we got one kind of moderately sized one over there. I don't know what he is, uh, five, six feet, about my size. Then over on the left, probably hard to see, but kind of basking over on that log that is exposed out of the water. That's a bigger one. That one's, I don't even know, eight or nine feet. So I saw plenty of gators today, which is cool, because I think there's still a pretty cool novelty being from the Northeast. It's something that I really only thought I would ever see in zoos. I never thought I would get to see them out here in the wild like this. But as far as the fish go, fishing goes today, not much going on. All oh, this guy's on the move. But yeah, as far as fishing goes, not much going on today. I just wanted to show you guys these cool gators, but I think that's gonna do it for this spot. We will try spot, I don't know what we're up to, 12 or 13. Oh, there's a third gator over there. This place is full of gators. So we'll try spot like 12 or 13 or something like that up next. I wanna get into some more fish. All right, so this is gonna be the last spot that I try. It's really windy, the water's moving fast. Uh, what I was using earlier, just a little bit too light, so I upsized one eighth ounce jig head with a uh, magma colored Nico Helgramite on my medium power Mojo Bass. So hopefully we can get maybe a nice peacock, something like that. Just one last fish here. 
to uh, kind of <laughs> make this day worthy. The pike killifish was cool, but besides that, there was really nothing noteworthy. Mayan. All right, so I was hoping for like a nice peacock or a nice largemouth, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. And with the lack of action in most spots, I will take whatever I can get. And in this case, it's this average sized Mayan cichlid. Another nice one. Oh, he's under these grasses. Ah, oh, it's a, it's another Mayan. These guys fight so well. Alrighty, so second fish on the magma colored Nico Helgramite. Another Mayan. These guys fight really well, but it's windy. We're gonna get this guy back, and then that might do it. Got another it looks like a Mayan. This guy's again these guys fight well. This guy I think is a little bit bigger. Uh, pull him on up here. Yeah, another Mayan. So we'll take a pick. We're gonna let this guy go, and I'm done. So let's wrap it up after this one. All right, so I'm trying to hide from the wind, uh, but that is going to do it. So I can't say it was a good day, can't say it was a bad day. Trying new spots, it's going to go like this. I've tried maybe over, it's got to be over a dozen spots. I only caught fish in, I think, three of them, if I'm not mistaken. But some of them still look pretty promising. Uh, I saw some d uh, dead snook that people just kind of caught and threw on the bank in one spot. So I know that spot holds snook, so might need to head back over to that spot, try to catch some. Uh, found a lot of spots that I'm not going to try again. Uh, but it's still a good day because I got my first ever pike killifish. I've tried several times to catch one of those and have been unsuccessful. Was really surprised that uh, not only they were in the spot that I fished, because I was not expecting them to be there, and even more surprised that I got them on a fairly big lure. So the uh, the Kytex swim shed, not a or swim bait, whatever it is, swing and impact, not a bad lure. Uh, the durability, not very good, breaks up pretty easily. I don't know if I would buy those again. And then here at the end, uh, the Nico Helgramite, one of my go-to soft plastics for bass, got me three nice sized mine cichlids that put up a really really nice fight. So yeah, not a bad day, not a uh, not a good day, just kind of an uh, kind of day. Uh, hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.